Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I'm actually so happy right now because look what just came in the mail. Boom! Guys, I'm so happy. Let's go ahead and unbox this right now. Okay. If you guys don't know already, um, this is a scorpion tailed gecko, a Prestarius carteri. So I've got a bunch of business cards here from the breeder. Let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. Perfect, a nice little heat. Nice little heat pad there, because it has been quite cold recently in these days. Nice packaging around it, so it's secure in there. And here he is. Um, let's go ahead and open him up. Okay, where are you, little guy? There he is. I saw him. Oh, he's very fast. He's very fast. Okay. There he is. Come on. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. Look at this little guy. He's amazing. Look at those beautiful colors. And this is a male. The breeder said he's about nine months old. But look at the face on that. It looks like a bird, doesn't he? A bird slash monkey slash lizard. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, so this is going to be his temporary enclosure for now. I'm actually building his new tank. Let's go ahead and put him right there in the heat. Go. Go on the heat. He doesn't want to get off my finger. There you go. Boom. In place. Let's go ahead and put the UVB light on top. Boom. All settled down. Oh my gosh, guys, look at him. I'm so happy. This is like one lizard I've been wanting for such a long time. Like, I saw this on Instagram one day, and I'm like, what is that? I have to have that. And now it's finally in my possession, my new pet. I'm so happy, guys. Look at that face. Wow, amazing. Okay, so this is called a scorpion-tailed gecko. The scientific name is a Prestorius carteri. So they earn their name as a scorpion-tailed gecko because before they um, run away or if they are being territorial, then they raise their tail and it starts waving back and forth like a scorpion. So that's what they get their names from. The males are often like a lighter color, like range from tan to gray and small broken stripes of orange on their sides, if you can tell on there, on the sides of his, um, of his body. And then for the females, the females are smaller with gray as well. And then they have the broken stripes of red down their sides. Both are small, like both males and females are small. And they also have those little spikes running down their tails with the nice color of orange or reddish on their end of their tails. So amazing, amazing. They, I feel like these guys are underrated geckos. Like nobody really has these. I haven't really seen anybody on YouTube with these geckos, especially these big creators on YouTube. So I'm glad I'm the first one that can share this amazing gecko with you guys. He's a baby right now, he still has a lot to grow and develop as a colors. Okay, so this is the temporary enclosure that I have him for now. It's a 10 gallon tank with the water bowl, some desert design plants on there, little branch and some rocks in the corner over there. He does have a heat bulb over there and a UVB light. So the tank that I'm building right now is an 18 by 18 by 18 exoterra tank. It's a desert theme as well, but it's taking a little bit longer than I thought, so it's almost done guys. He's gonna be in here for just a, like maybe a few more days until I finally finish the new tank. I'm gonna be posting that new tank, a tutorial on how I build that, and also putting him in there. So that should be really cool. An example of this would be my other tanks here. This is our, these are my dart frog and my crested gecko. So here is one example. So you guys can see how detailed I go into my tanks. But for his, it's gonna be desert themed. So it's gonna be a lot more dried. And then this is my other one here. My crested gecko, eventually gonna be another dart frog. And then I just go ahead and put, boom, ER Bros. <laughs> Signature tank, built by ER Bros. But yeah, guys, I'm so happy to have this new addition to my room. I'm gonna make so many videos with this new guy, and I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy them too. So, hey, 
Gusher, what do you have to say about the new roommates? Yep, you like him? Um, Rudolph? Doesn't really care. He's looking the other way. Hey, looks like you came out to see the new roommate. <laughs> now I have like two like really nice rare lizards. I have Zeus, which is my color lizard. I don't really see too many people with those. And then also my new addition here. Also, we need a name for this guy, so be sure you guys go ahead and comment some names for him. Kind of looks like a bird slash monkey slash lizard, so be creative with the names. I know you guys are all creative with names. You guys named all my other reptiles, so comment some names for him. I'll be picking the best one, and I'll shout you out. Okay, it looks like he's really enjoying that heat. He was probably cold, but I'm going to leave him there. What I'm going to do is give him some water. I've done some research on these guys, and they said that they usually drink when you miss them down. Like, say in the morning, you miss them down, and they'll lick up the drops off their face. So, that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, that's good enough. I just gave him a nice little mist down there. He's by the heat, so he should be fine. I'm also going to be putting some water in this little... Um, bowl that I have in the corner here haven't done so yet so put some water in there this is the enclosure now he now has water I gave him a nice little mist down so he can drink a little bit and I'm just gonna let him be have him warm up a little bit in the basking site and I'm gonna get back to building the tank thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment some names for my new edition also subscribe so you guys can stay up to date with all of my pets so today's post notification shout out goes to Monster Man. Thank you so much for turning on my post notifications. If you want a post notification shout out, be sure you guys go ahead and turn them on and then comment when done so I know who has done that. Okay, thank you so much for watching and until next time guys, peace.